Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'll show you how to crochet the mini check plaid stitch, which is nice for crochet blankets, scarves, and more. I'm using three colors of worsted weight yarn in a size H crochet hook. We will be carrying the yarn along the side, so you won't have many ends to weave in once completed. To begin, chain 36, or any multiple of six. For row one, double crochet in the fifth chain from the hook. The skip chain serves as the first double crochet. We just made the second double crochet, and now we'll make the third double crochet. You can see the three double crochet stitches. Next, chain three. Skip three chains, and make a double crochet over the next three chains. One, two, and three. Chain three again. Then skip three chains. And make three double crochet stitches, each one over the next three chains. You will find this pattern uses a lot of threes in it, so it's easier to remember. And then chain three and then three double crochet. Continue with this pattern across the row. At the end, you'll make your three double crochet. With the last stitch, we won't finish the double crochet. Place your pink yarn in the front, then add a yellow yarn. Pull it through to complete the double crochet. Don't cut the pink yarn, as we'll carry it up the sides and use it as needed. For row two, we'll start with the chain four. Technically, this is a chain one plus a chain three. Why I say that is we need the first chain to elevate the stitches a bit. Then we make three chains that will float over the double crochet from the row below. Over the skip chains from the original starting chain, make one double crochet in each of the three chains. One, two, and three. Then over the double crochet, we make a chain three. Then over the chains again, we make three double crochet stitches using the skip chains from below. And three. Over the next double crochet, we make three chains. And then three double crochet over the chains. Continue with this pattern across the row. At the end, we do a chain three. Then place the yarn in front, begin a slip stitch in the last stitch, and draw through your new green color yarn to finish the slip stitch. For row three, chain three and turn. Since these are chains, we do double crochet over them. And the first chain three counts as one double crochet. So we make two more. Now we've technically made three double crochet over the chains. Over the next double crochet, we chain three. And then over the chains, we make three double crochet using the stitches from the pink row. One, two, and three. Then over the double crochet, we chain three. And over the yellow chains, we make three double crochet stitches going into the pink rose stitches. Continue with this pattern across the row. At the end, place the green yarn in front, then just pick up the pink yarn where we left off from the first row and use it to complete the last double crochet. For row four, chain four and turn. Technically, that's a chain one plus a chain three again. Over the green chains, we do three double crochet stitches, one in each stitch from the yellow row. One, two, and three. 
Then over the green rows double crochet, we make a chain three. Then we proceed with the three double crochet stitches again over the green chains. Two, and three. Continue with this pattern across the row. At the end, we'll do the chain three, place the yarn in front, then just bring up the yellow yarn from the second row. Going forward, we're just going to repeat rows three and four. So here's a repeat of row three. We make our chain three and two more double crochet. One, two, and three. Then a chain three and three double crochet followed by a chain three. The next row repeats row four with a chain four and three double crochet over the chains. For our last row, we're going to modify a row three. We'll start with the three double crochet. Then instead of chains, we're going to substitute with single crochet stitches. Over the chains, we do the normal three double crochet. And then over the double crochet, instead of chains, we substitute with single crochet stitches. This makes a nice closed stitch along the top row. And that's it. That's how I crochet the mini check plaid stitch. Thanks so much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified of new videos from me each week. And if you liked the video you just watched, be sure to check out my next video, which I think you'll like very much.